Hello. Okay, I'm gonna make one of my absolute um, favorite meal prep meals with you guys. I'm gonna kind of explain some changes that you can make if you're not doing like a strict 30 days to healthy living uh, with no dairy and things like that. So we'll talk about some substitutions that you can do. Um, but this recipe for me is one that I do all the time. Um, I don't really stray from it too much uh, just because I know it works and I know that I love it. Um, and it's protein packed, which is really, really good. You're not going to find anything in this that I don't know what it is, right? And, and we'll talk through um, different products to you. So this is a healthy chicken salad. I absolutely love myself some chicken salad. Um, croissants, duh, right? But um, I'm going to talk through what can we do instead of putting it on bread. Um, or maybe some alternatives. So let's start out with what I did first. So I went ahead and cooked up my chicken. I did it in the Instant Pot. So in the Instant Pot, I added a cup of water. I added two big chicken breasts. It's about cooked a pound and a half. So I would say it was probably about two pounds um, of chicken. Um, before it was cooked, so it's about a pound and a half right now, which is great. Um, and then I, so I did the instant pot, I did it on the poultry setting, uh, which will give you 15 minutes, but you can cook it for 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, take it out, so what I did is I just pulled out one breast at a time, took two forks and shredded it, pulled the second one out, shred it, and I put it in a separate bowl to cool while I did the rest. So it's, um, it's definitely cooling out. Still just a little tidge warm, um, but we'll be good to go here in a little bit. Okay, so next, um, I am going to do, or walk you through what I did next. So while that was cooling, um, or you can do it while it's in the Instant Pot, um, or you can do shredded chicken. Um, like if you're not doing the 30 Days to Healthy Living, um, you could get a rotisserie chicken. That one just potentially has some oils in it that aren't, ideal. Um, you could do canned chicken if you wanted to. Um, I would just say try to get free range organic as much as you can. Um, and that's that. So chicken and then I went ahead and I did grapes. So this is about two cups of um, purple grapes, red grapes. <laughs> Let me see what the bag said. Seedless grapes. Red seedless. I don't know why I call them purple. Maybe because they are purple. It's fine. Okay, so two cups of red grapes, and then I quartered each grape. So each grape will get cut into four pieces. So they're small enough um, to put into um, a chicken salad. Okay, and then I went ahead and I did a about a cup and a half of celery. Um, I would say I did like, I think I did four or I th actually, I think these are smaller. So I did about five of five or six of these little ones. So I would say you could probably do about three large ones, um, of the celery stock. Yeah. Okay. So I, I really diced those up small and then I have some green onion over here. I know it's kind of hard. Oh, it's running away. Um, I have some green onion over here, um, and I actually usually do this recipe with um, just a sweet onion, um, about maybe like a quarter to a half of a sweet onion. I had these that needed used up, so I'm going for it. Um, and so, it, you know, you can interchange those a little bit. Uh, if you use a... Um, a sweet onion, just know that you might need to change the onion powder a little bit, uh, the amount, uh, and you can you can do it by taste. So I have all of these things. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and add these all together in my bigger bowl here. Okay, I'm gonna put my chicken in um, as well. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna let that cool. We're gonna come back to that, that's totally fine. Okay, let's go ahead and do our almonds. So I personally love uh, sliced raw almonds here. Um, you can do pecans, you can do walnuts, uh, whatever you want to do, go for it. Whoa, a little extra almond love, that's fine. Okay, so about a cup of almonds, and obviously make sure that they're sliced or um, whatever, you know what I mean, halved, slivered, whatever you want to do. Okay, so I added that in. I have my list here. Okay, 
So now we're going to do um, the, I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, mayo. Um, actually use this guy. I'm gonna do my mayo and then we'll add in some seasoning. So uh, when, you, when it comes to mayonnaise, all are not created equal as with a lot of foods, right? So this Sir Kingston's brand, I, I do like them. Um, I also love Primal Kitchen. Either one will do you well. They are not cheap, friends, but they are good quality. You know what you're putting in your body. So the ingredients here are avocado oil, organic certified humane free range egg yolks, means that's how the eggs were raised, water, distilled vinegar, salt, lime juice, citric acid, and lime oil. So I know all of those things. Um, the one potential issue I could see someone having on the 30 days is the vinegar, it's not gonna kill you, it'll be fine, okay? So, um, I'm gonna add this in. And there, so I'm not giving you guys like perfect measurements. And the reason I'm not giving you per perfect measurements is because it just depends on how much you have of some of these things. And for me, the chicken that I buy is not always the same measurement because it's, it, I get it from a farm, right? Or I get it from, um, the grocery store and the poundage can be different. So just so you know, um, this is not gonna be perfect measurements, but I'm doing my best. So I put in a whole jar of this. This was 12 uh, ounces. Okay, so just a little, about a cup and a half. Um, and so I'm just gonna go with that for now. I'll add some in a little bit if I need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken in. Okay, and I can already tell you I'm gonna need more mayo looking at this. I think I'm going to need some more, but I'm gonna go ahead and get, guys here, Cooper. You okay, Bubba's? You playing? You playing? Okay, we're not looking too bad here, friends. Wow, this looks good, okay. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need some more mayonnaise. Um, Okay, but that's looking pretty good. So other things that you can do, if you're not big on mayonnaise, uh, you could do Greek yogurt. However, that is a dairy product, so not approved for the, for the 30 days to healthy living, but you can do Greek, Greek yogurt. Uh, totally fine. Some people love to throw Dijon mustard in if they do Greek yogurt. So that's um, something that you can do if you don't wanna do mayo. Um, okay, good deal. I am gonna toss in just a smidge more. That's actually, that wasn't too bad. I think I honestly just need about two cups of mayonnaise. All right, Coop, I'm gonna come get you, baby. Can I finish my recipe? Yeah? I can finish? Just eyeball it here. Be fine. All right. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I stop talking to him when he's come hang out mom which I totally get okay all right so now we're gonna add in our seasonings let me grab Cooper real fast I'll be right back Okay, friends, so now we're gonna do our um, onion powder. Where is my, oh, there it is right in front of me. Teaspoon, okay, um, I would say about a half of a teaspoon to a full teaspoon. I'm gonna start with a half, and then I potentially might add more um, just based on taste. Um, so this is, one, this is one recipe where I kinda just have to uh, play it by ear with taste. I'm gonna do the same thing with salt. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon. Might need to add more. Um, and then pepper, I always do about a half teaspoon. I usually don't go up more than that. Um, but again, this is based on your taste buds and what you like. So you can uh, feel free to um, do what you wanna do with that. This is awesome. This looks great, okay.
All right, so we are all good to go. Let me grab a spoon. Maybe I'll do a fork. It'll be easier to eat with a fork. I think that's pretty darn good. I honestly don't think I'm gonna change anything. And I'll be honest, that does not normally happen, but that's all right. So um, I went ahead and put the recipe in the, in the comments for you guys. Um, and again, feel free to edit some of those, um, to edit some of those um, ingredients to be what you need them to be, okay? Um, that's some things that you can put this on. Rice cakes. You can use Simple Mills almond flour crackers. That's how I'm gonna eat it, because you know I'm gonna be eating some right, right when I end this video. Um, and so what I love about this is this will last me for a long time, like at least a few days if Kevin eats some, maybe longer than that. Um, obviously store it in the fridge, um, and it's a quick protein. So let me know if you have any questions.